Hello, dear guests. Thank you for coming today. My name is Rowit Portugal, Director of External Relations at the Ambassador's Club. I would like to welcome you to our annual event of the Diplomat of the Year 2020. This year we present the award to Her Excellency Dr. Anjan Shakya, Ambassador of Nepal. And of course, um, due to the COVID restrictions, we had to limit the number of guests, but the event is now being screened uh, live on our Facebook page, the Ambassador's Club of Israel. So also, those who cannot attend today can follow and watch us live on our Facebook page. Uh, I want to thank to you all now, our dear Vice President of the Club, and also uh, General Consul of Belize, for hosting us as this beautiful courtyard. Thank you, Johan. Uh, at the end of the ceremony, we will light the first candle of Hanukkah, and we have also special surprise to you. I'm not talking about the souvenirs and the donuts. Uh, it's a special surprise that also our viewers on the Facebook can also join it. And um, okay, let's begin. I want to invite. Ambassador Yitzhak Eldan, President of the Ambassador's Club, to lead the ceremony. Welcome everybody. Shalom. Namaste. Or namaskar. There are two ways of saying it. I'm proud to open the fourth annual ceremony of the Diplomat of the Year Award, honoring the Ambassador of Nepal to Israel. Our host is an international businessman, Mr. Yohan Honorary Consul of Belize and Vice President of our club. Thank you very much, Yohan, for your cooperation and dedication to the club. Okay. I will never okay. forget okay. it was here, this meeting. Ten years ago, that you and the members of your family, all of them, your wife, the children, your brothers and sisters, they're on the brothers. Everybody joined us, joined me, and members of the of the board also present here, like Ruta Mit Fogel. I'm looking for many Danish and the others, but they will come. So I will never forget that together we let we let down the, the establishment of the Ambassador's Club of Israel. Dear friends, next month and during the whole year of 2021, our club will celebrate its first decade, a decade of excellence of many achievements. Today, we are celebrating excellence in diplomacy. Diplomacy is a profession Diplomacy is the art of maintaining peaceful relationships between countries, groups, or individuals. Diplomacy is a major tool to strengthen solidarity among nations, especially during difficult times. In the past, Nepal and Israel experienced several difficult challenges. Diplomats from both countries were and continue to be at the forefront, combating together and finding solutions together. Dear friends, diplomats all over the world play this year a central role in battling the COVID-19 pandemic. The Diplomat of the Year ceremony of our club is a very good occasion to express to them our gratitude. You, Dr. Anjan Shakya, you are one of the best examples of those able, professional, and courageous corona diplomats, I call them. <laughs> it will be remembered always as a corona diplomat and corona diplomacy. Since your arrival to Israel, you conquered the hearts of many Israelis. We admire your engagement, we admire your devotion, your creative ways to help advance the interest and the image of your country in Israel. That, but, but so at least we admire your devotion to the Nepalese workers in Israel who are far away from their families 
and from their country and give you constant attention. This is the occasion for us Israelis to applaud their great work in our country. They are contributing in a significant manner to the Israeli society. Ambassador Shakya, your many qualities made you our club's natural choice for the ambassador of the year 2020 award. Ladies and gentlemen, here with us today are two esteemed high-ranking Israeli diplomats representing Israel Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They arrived especially in your honor from Jerusalem for this reception. Welcome my dear friend Dila Skel, who will come in a minute, the Chief of State Protocol of Israel, former Deputy General of Mashaz, the Solidarity Agency of Israel in the international community. Welcome also my dear friend, Ambassador Michael Ronen, head of the Bureau for Southeast Asia at the Department of Asia Pacific Division in charge of India and Nepal also. I would like to invite now Ambassador Ronen to join me and to deliver your greetings as well as the greetings of Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi who was very kind and sent us a very warm letter that will be read to you after the greetings of Michael Ronen. Michael, please. Thank you very much, Itik. Can you hear me? All right. Uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, normally in these circumstances, uh, the organizer asks me to speak no longer than three minutes, but then they provide me with a list of acknowledgement of six minutes long. Uh, I think today it's uh, different circumstances, but I'll try to stick to the three minutes. Uh, so allow me to start with reading the letter, warm letter indeed, sent by Ambassador by uh, Minister uh, Gabi Ashkenazi, Minister of Foreign Affairs, especially to this event. Uh, dear Mr. Eldan, I was happy to hear that the Ambassador's Club of Israel continues, even during Corona times, its tradition of annual ceremonies to celebrate excellent diplomas. The profession of diplomacy is known as a complex one, and your club should be praised for its multifaceted uh, activity within the diplomatic community in Israel, both among the diplomatic corps and the honorary consular corps. I'm sorry that I cannot take part uh, in the ceremony, but on this occasion, I would like to congratulate and award uh, the award winner of excellent in diplomacy, the Nepalese ambassador to Israel, Dr. Anjan Shakla. Uh, the ambassador of Nepal works uh, tirelessly to strengthen the, the relations uh, between uh, Israel and Nepal, and she uh, is undoubtedly uh, worthy of receiving the title of diploma uh, of diplomat uh, in the year 2020 in Israel. During my tenure as foreign minister, I met with her excellency, and uh, we even signed significant agreements between the two countries in the field of uh, care workers and in the development of agriculture. Uh, I want to take this uh, opportunity and send you, the members of the Ambassador's Club in Israel, and the President of the Club is Hakel Dan, my wishes of health and the continuation of blessed activities within contribute, which contribute uh, to the efforts to strengthen the relations and cooperation between Israel and the world nations. Signed, Gabi Ashkenazi, Minister of Foreign Affairs. And I will uh, move on to a message from uh, the Deputy Director General for Asia and Pacific uh, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, Dr. Andrew Shakya, Ambassador of Nepal in, uh, to Israel, Ambassador Sakhidan, President of the Ambassador's Club of Israel, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Mr. Gilad Cohen, Deputy Director General for Asia and the Pacific in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Jerusalem, and on behalf of my colleagues from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, I wish to congratulate Ambassador Shakya for being awarded as the Ambassador of the Year 2020 and to congratulate the Ambassador's Club of Israel for taking the decision to award Ambassador Shakya with this honor. 2020 was, and indeed still, 
a challenging year for almost every single human activity around the world. The horrific concept of social distancing, which is so essential to combat the pandemic virus, is exactly the other way around of what required from uh, in the work of, of professional diplomats based on maximum social interaction. Ambassador Shakia has proven during this year 2020 that she is not going to allow a small deadly virus to stand on her way uh, to mark uh, appropriately the 60th anniversary of establishing diplomatic relations between Nepal and Israel. Somehow she finds creative ways to stick to the health requirement and yet to initiate interaction, interactions and activities. Meeting at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Jerusalem, including with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Gabi Ashkenazi, signing important bilateral agreements, hosting magnificent cultural events and exposing the wonders of Nepal to the Israeli public. It seems to me that Ambassador Anjan Shakya has, defended, has defeated COVID-19 long before the first vaccine has landed in Israel. I see it as an inspiring example for a special and energetic professional diplomatic work. Ladies and gentlemen, Ambassador Eldan, Ambassador Anjan Shakya, thank you so much for inviting me to share with you this celebration. Congratulations. It's now my pleasure. Oh. Thank you very much, Ambassador Ronen. I have now the honor to invite the Ambassador of Myanmar, Dean of the Asia Pacific group of countries represented here in Israel. Please, Ambassador. Good afternoon to you. Shalom. A great honor to me for attending this such a wonderful and meaningful ceremony, even in the time of COVID-19. Ambassador Mr. Aaron, the President and the Dean of Ambassador Class of Israel, the host, Mr. Rubinen, and the Madam from the Jerusalem host, the member of diplomatic communities, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for inviting me and having a chance to meet with colleagues and friends during the pandemic time of COVID-19. This is disruptions of in-person social connectivity. This is a great chance to meet, to meet with our friends. Thank you, Mr. Hoss. Today, we are here to congratulate Her Excellency Dr. Anjia Shakti, Ambassador of Nepal, for her award of excellence in diplomacy. She's winning the Diplomatic of the Year 2020. Congratulations. Dear Ambassadors, I'm overwhelmed with pride when I think about you being able to accomplish such a short amount of time. What you able to accomplish will never cease to amaze me. So let me start that celebration by saying big congratulations because you deserve it. I'd also like to thank the award committee of the Ambassador Class of Israel for finally finding the hidden gem in the box. I'm also very happy because one of the, our Asian Pacific Ambassador Group won. And you being as such a valuable member of our group. The award appropriately reflects the endless hours you have spent for your people and country 
when you arrive in Islam. For a blessing, it's one thing to have dreams, but it's another to take action and dance this dream to come true reality. So you are only, not only a dreamer, you are a doer. Watching you achieve this goal brings my heart. Congratulations, Excellency. This award has added a new feather to your crown. So your communities here should be proud of you. It's a happy moment to celebrate your success and achievement. You deserve the best. On behalf of our group and diplomatic community in Israel as a whole, I wish you unlimited success in the future. I have been hoping you would keep climbing new heights of success ever, forever, and after. My best wishes are always with you. Thanks to you all. Thank you very much, dear Ambassador. We wish you, we wish you a successful mandate as the Dean of the Asiatic Pacific Group. And when he spoke about, to the ambassador about climbing, or thinking about her climbing the Himalaya. <laughs> I would like to read to you, until uh, Kiras Kel arrives, I would like to read to you a letter of a colleague that you like very much. He is so close to your country that he is in your country now as ambassador, not for the first time, for the second time, Mr. Hanan Goder. During his time, something unbelievable was made in a symbolic manner between the two countries. I am sure that you know what I am going to say. He initiated a link between the lowest part on Earth with the highest part on the globe. There is, if you go to the Dead Sea, if you visit the Dead Sea, you can find the site. What did you say, Olesia? The lowest part. It is the lowest part, but it is, there is a special andalta, a special site, a monument, speaking about the link between this. It is like a sister cities, which was created between the Himalaya and, and the Dead Sea. So I will read you his letter. I have so many papers here that somebody has to ask me, where is the letter? <laughs> yes, I have it here. Dear Ambassador, Dr. Anjan Shakya, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on the occasion of receiving the Israeli Award of Ambassador of the year 2020. During the last two years of your tenure in Israel, you have made great achievement in promoting the bilateral relations between Nepal and Israel. You have not left a single government office, as the Ambassador Yambar said. Not a municipality, NGOs, and any other sector in showing your goodwill and give ample exposure to Nepal. Nepali citizens in Israel also know that your door is always open to them for help, for assistance, and for advocating in any issue raised by them to you on your embassy. And I join him by saluting the workers and saluting what they are doing in Israel. Only recently, we marked the 60th year of diplomatic relations between our countries. And it was a great opportunity to see how much progress your input gave to the relations in such a short time. Your good character, your gentleness, I am adding, and efficient work has put Nepal in a better position, and I'm sure that there is much more to come. Dear Ambassador, I cannot forget your mesmerizing performance of a song written by Rachel Shapira, Rachel Shapira and sung by Yali Atari. Far away in Nepal, your good work has made Nepal closer to Israel than it had ever been before. Congratulations to you once again. I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. 
סן סביוס, חנן גודר, באסה דורף, ישראל טוני פאלי. We are still awaiting the dean of the diplomatic court to come, and then we'll come and we'll speak. But I suggest, first of all, we hear another ambassador from, uh, from Asia, a good friend of you, a good friend of the club also, the ambassador of Thailand, who insisted on sending you a video clip. I ask all of you to watch the television screen and uh, please let's start sawadika shalom first of all thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say a few words about ambassador and john on this special occasion as a colleague i have always admired ambassador and john for her energetic and dedicated efforts to strengthen ties and cooperation between Nepal and Israel. She has done notably well in promoting Nepal to the Israeli public. She is also an ambassador with many talents. Many of you may know that she was a professional singer, but may I add that she could also sing as Hebrew songs very beautifully. Ambassador Anjan is a good friend of mine and we always consult with each other on various issues. Well, maybe it's because we are the only two female ambassadors at the Asia Pacific Group. On this occasion, I would like to congratulate Ambassador Anjan on receiving the Ambassador of the Year Awards from the Ambassador Clubs of Israel. Marcel Top, Kapkun Ka. Thank you, Ambassador of Thailand. It's now a pleasure to invite to the floor the Deputy Chief of Mission of uh, Nepal, who will uh, read us the greetings of the Foreign Minister of Nepal. Please, Devakasha. Tada. Excellencies and uh, all the participants, uh, good afternoon, shalom, and Kanuka Samyak. Let me go through the letter of Foreign Minister of Nepal. It is congratulatory message to uh, Ambassador Dr. Anjan Sakya and uh, thank you letter to Ambassador Isaac Ildam. Uh, I'm going to read it. Dear Mr. Isaac Eldan, President of the Ambassador's Club of Israel, Dear Dr. Anjan Sakya, Ambassador of Nepal to the State of Israel, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Please accept my best wishes and warm greetings. I'd like to congratulate Her Excellency Dr. Anjan Sakya, Ambassador of Nepal to Israel, on receiving the award Diplomat of the Year 2019-2020. I consider this award as a recognition of Dr. Sakya's sincere efforts and accomplishments in the sphere of advancing relations between Nepal and Israel. I would like to extend my best wishes to Ambassador Dr. Sakya for success of her all efforts in discharging the important responsibility entrusted to her. Taking this opportunity, I would like to thank Ambassador Isaac Eldan and Ambassador's Club of Israel, uh, including Board of Directors, for the wonderful tradition of granting the award Diplomat of the Year, which underscores the significance of diplomatic assignment in today's challenging world. Pradeep Kumar Gewali is the Foreign Minister of Nepal. Thank you. Tadaraba. Tada. Thank you very much. Before continuing, I would like to mention uh, and to recognize people who joined us today in your honor, members of the board, Utamit Fogel, 
teaching the Northern Council of Paraguay, <laughs> member, of the, member of the board, the uh, Salad Aluf, honorary consuls of Latvia. <laughs> we have two honorary members of our club here, Olesia Tanto and Naomi Cherpa. <laughs> we have here our CEO, the one and only Itzi Camillan. We have Raul Portugal. We have two interns, one of them from England, London, and one of them from New York, who are working with us as volunteer. And both of them, since they met me, they want to make Aliyah to Israel. <laughs> I'm sure that because of me. I'm yeah. sure. So, and I want to recognize also, I recognize already Yoram now. How many times do we have to recognize him? Yoram, senior deputy president of the club. I want to recognize the other, the technocrat of the Embassy of Nepal. Thank you for all the arrangements. Did I miss anybody? And, and last but not least, the youngest one, the young ambassador, who finished my school of young ambassadors, Carl Zellinger, our creative director, and our photographer also, is now studying diplomacy at the ITC. Thank you for joining us. He just had an exam an hour ago, so he did it here. Call a to all of you for joining us. So I suggest, because I want our chief of protocol to be with us, and during the moment that you're receiving the, uh, the award, the Certificate of Excellence in Diplomacy, I would love to have two or three clips, video clips, from Nepal that we received from Nepal. And uh, please, can you help us to fix it? Um, namaste. My name is Sabita. I'm very proud to say a few words about the Nepalese Ambassador to Israel, Her Excellency Dr. Shakir. Um, since her arrival in Israel, we have witnessed a great representation. It's wonderful to see how proud she is to represent Nepal in Israel and to, she's working hard to strengthen relations between two countries. Not only the Israeli society, but international society are amazed to see her excellent diplomatic work. She is a true leader who has chutzpah to dream and she has capacity to achieve things with her charismatic character she has brought the two nations very close it ever had such an enthusiastic leader has achieved numerous things till date for example she has selected she has been selected or chosen by the ambassador's club of israel as the ambassador of of the year 2019 and 2020 and I'd like to congratulate her for that which makes all Nepalese proud. We Nepalese community are very proud to have such representation, representative and we are glad to have such guardian. We would like to thank her for her continued, continuing dedication and for her efforts to strained on the relations between two countries. Thank you very much. This is an honor for me to speak a little bit about Her Excellency Dr. Anjan Sakya, the Ambassador of Nepal to Israel today. Before she's a wonderful ambassador, she's really a fantastic person. She loves Nepal and she loves Israel and she's open to every question from every child on the street who asks her about the beautiful sari she has and explain to them about the embroidery and about Nepal and about the relationship between Nepal and Israel that she loves to strengthen. She does it, in fact, 24 hours every day, seven days a week. She, um, she finds the similarity and she loves the differences between the two countries and she enjoys uh, making contact with everybody and thinks about how wonderful it could be that if Israelis would know more about Nepal in a different way that we have known to date. And she loves um, explaining in Nepal about the strengths of Israel, 
how wonderful it is for her to be here and um, how wonderful it will be if Nepal will strengthen its relationship with Israel and be contributed by the so much so many things that we have to offer she really works hard and she cares about the Nepalis in Israel the Israelis in Nepal and helps everybody to enjoy each other so congratulations dr Anja and Sakya for receiving this um, wonderful um, honorary um, title of the favorite ambassador of Nepal to Israel good luck and good luck to you to us all for um, and we think that we're very fortunate to have her here so good luck to you on the remaining of your job and perhaps you'll Be kind enough to stay with us for another term, which we will all enjoy. Take care. Dear Ambassador of Nepal, my warmest congratulations to you for the prestigious award of excellence in diplomacy. Ambassador of the year 2020 was presented to you by the Ambassador Club of Israel. Kolokavod, my dear friend. Bye, see you, Gali. We could invite so many people, so many Israelis who would like to tell you how much you are their, their favorites. <laughs> yeah, the favorites, wow. Big world. But I suggest now that uh, we move, we move on and uh, I would like to invite Uh, Joram Nao, our Vice President, and Ruth Amit Kogel. Yes, please, come to the floor and bring the, the certificate with you. Please, join me. And I would like to invite now the Ambassador. Please, Ambassador, join us. And I'm uh, asking you, Joram, please, to read the Certificate of Excellence. Award of Excellence in Diplomacy, Diplomat of the Year 2020, Your Excellency Dr. Anjan Shakya, Ambassador of Nepal to Israel. In recognition of her excellent diplomatic professional performance, and a significant contribution to the close relationship between Nepal and Israel. President of the Ambassadors Club, Tzhak and Dan, members of the board, please. The Messiah arrived. Kolaka, vote. You arrived at the appropriate time. Please join us. The chief of protocol of the state of Israel, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. All the pictures now. Okay, no 
פלוניאל יכולה גם להצטרף, כל מי שרוצה להצטרף יכול להצטרף. אני לא מזמין את העיתונאים, אני מצטרף, כי זה לא אצלי. בואו תהיה עם השגרירה כשיש לה תעודה, תהיה עם הקפה. אם גיל פה, הכל בסדר, תאמין לי. גיל, הקטינו לך. לא, usually, chief of protocol comes this. Half an hour before. And you know, I was set in this, the chief of protocol. And my time, I had a new style. יופי. Please sit down. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to, inv to invite one of the most visible diplomats in Israel, the new chief of protocols, a great diplomat, Gil Askel. When I heard that he was chosen for this post, I told him, They have chosen the best. Like we have chosen the diplomat of the year 2020, the best of the best, they have chosen you really the best of the best at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. <laughs> It's now my pleasure. Thank you very much, my friend and colleague and, and uh, predecessor, uh, Ambassador Yitzhak Eldan, for the compliments, which I'm not sure uh, I fully deserve. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize because I, um, I have a lot of ambassadors that are coming to meet me these days and all of them that came today when I changed the schedule, they, they overstayed the time for one simple reason, because they want to become the ambassadors of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, so they stayed longer. Um, But don't worry, I will not speak for an hour, like uh, Ambassador Dan said. I just want to congratulate my true friend and colleague, and uh, I don't know how, how to describe this wonderful ambassador, Ambassador Anjan Shakia of Nepal, which does an amazing service for her country. And uh, I witnessed <laughs> it firsthand from possibly the very beginning, the very first days when we came to Israel. And uh, I know Nepal is not a monarchy anymore, but uh, for me, you are the queen of, of Nepal. <laughs> And I had a very, very rare privilege of being accompanied by Ambassador uh, Shaka when I visited Nepal more or less exactly one year ago. And uh, it was a tremendous experience. And uh, that's when I really was convinced that she is the queen of Nepal. Because everywhere we went, there was great excitement uh, to, to meet you and to see you and to touch you. And it was very, uh, very exciting. And, and you really showed me uh, a beautiful face of your country. And um, uh, I think the service that you're doing to your country here in Israel um, I've been in the ministry almost for 30 years, and uh, Ambassador Dan uh, longer than that, and Ambassador Ronen uh, uh, also longer than that, and I don't remember such visibility to your nation here in this country, like uh, this visibility that you're bringing uh, uh, to us here, and it's really, really, really commendable. Um, you know, Ambassador, yesterday, was it yesterday when we met? Uh, day before yesterday. That is exactly when Ambassador Eldan told me that the time has changed. And I told him I'll reschedule in order to arrive. And I said, and she just left my office. Uh, uh, she was meeting me. And he said, my God, she's everywhere. <laughs> Which is true. Because you're, you're everywhere. You're everywhere. And uh, on behalf of all my colleagues, and I know uh, there was a message uh, uh, dedicated to you by the minister and by uh, uh, Gilad Cohen and uh, Michael Romain is here. 
but really, uh, 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 I think it's a consensus within the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, of how effective you are as an ambassador and how charming you are as an ambassador. And uh, uh, it shows because Israel-Nepal relations are reaching heights that they have never reached uh, before. And uh, um, uh, you know, uh, there are a few ambassadors here in the room, and it's always a debate amongst politicians are diplomatic relations uh, uh, formed and shaped by ambassadors or by the leaders? Uh, how effective is a um, serving ambassador in a country that he's serving? And, and of course, as ambassadors, we believe that it's, it's the ambassadors who are uh, the effective, but in your case, really, I think you're such an effective ambassador, and this is such a worthy uh, reward. And I was so happy to learn about this reward. Uh, that you have received, and uh, all I can say is uh, uh, namaste and uh, congratulations. Bravo. And to thank the Ambassadors uh, uh, Club for, for this very, very, very uh, uh, correct uh, and pertinent choice. Thank you all very much. I'm sorry I was late. So, <laughs> dear friend, it is your first encounter with the Ambassadors Club of Israel. We would love to invite you when times will be easier, when you will have less visitors. You have many these days in spite of, uh, of the corona. And you have still five ambassadors to present credentials. Will they present it like in uh, London? I sent you the pictures. Amazing. Amazing. So, what did you think when you received it? What do you think that you will, you will do? When I saw this picture, I, it, it looks like a science fiction. Like, <laughs> but it was true. Like the big she was, in, I think, in Buckingham Palace, and, and they were maybe in the same palace, or maybe in Windsor Palace. But you have still five ambassadors this month, and then you, come, you accomplish the 25 or more ambassadors, new ambassadors, for this year. As you, as you know, they're coming all the time. So. But we will be delighted to have you the first meeting so that you learn about us. You can see that we are doing good things for the benefit of the relation with the diplomat serving in Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure, friends, it is now my great pleasure, my honor, to invite the diplomat of the year 2020, the ambassador of the year in Israel for this year, COVID year, to come to the floor and to address us. Please, Mr. Oscar Feynman. Namaste. Shalom. Good afternoon. I'm so happy today that I couldn't express it now. So many of you, so wonderful people, you all uh, explained so uh, nicely to me. Uh, now it's becoming difficult to, for me how to explain, how to thank you. Uh, I'm finding no words how to thank you. Thank you so, so much, Ambassador Ijak Eldar. Hanukkah uh, Samyak, Hak Samyak, President of um, uh, Ambassadors Club of Israel, Ambassador Ijak Eldar, Chief of Protocol, Ambassador Gil Haskell, Excellencies, Ministries, from uh, Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs, the uh, Board of Directors, the Ambassadors Club of Israel, distinguished guests, friends from media, especially Greer, and of so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there are so wonderful people uh, with us. I know each and everyone, and very close to you. Thank you so much for uh, Having you all here with me now. Lekha bud huli, lekha bel it, ha his damnud, ha jo leda bel, bifne kulhen. Bravo! It gives me immense, immense pleasure uh, to speak at this August gathering. My eyes, my eyes uh, will be full of tears now. <laughs> I'm so happy and lucky. Uh, at the outset, um, let me congratulate uh, Ambassador Ijak Eldar uh, for Ambassador's Club of Israel uh, for your accomplishment of a decade 
since its establishment. Today is a very lucky day for me and also lucky day. I can say that lucky day for you also. Uh, there are so many coincidences. Today is Hanukkah, first day of Hanukkah. Uh, and a decade, you accomplished uh, your decade of Ambassador Club. And today is the very precious and significant day for the people of Israel. Why? Because you, are, uh, you received Corona COVID vaccine today. So today is a very wonderful day for people of Israel. It will save many, many Israeli peoples and I hope that uh, around the world also we will have such vaccines and we will also save our people in the world. Amen. Amen. And also we are celebrating this year. This year is really special. This year we are marking uh, 60 years of our diplomatic relations between Nepal and Israel. And you chose Ambassador of the Year for this year. Thank you so much, Ambassador. This is very, very lucky day for all of us. And I hope it will continue its good work of Ambassador's Club in all the coming days. On behalf of the government of Nepal, Nepali people, and on my own, I would like to extend my heartiest gratitude to Ambassador Ijak Eldan and the Board of Directors of Ambassador's Club of Israel, uh, uh, Vice President of Ambassador's Club, for selecting me as Ambassador of the Year 2019-2020. I feel really good to hear that this award of excellence in diplomacy is the highest distinction discerned by the Ambassador's Club of Israel to foreign diplomats. It is not only a happy moment for myself and Nepal, but also for the whole diplomatic community based in Israel. Actually, I never heard of this award before. Mm, I got the basis of my nomination. Hearing this, I was so surprised and couldn't believe it was true, but it is true. This. Uh, tradition of giving award and honoring the diplomats is really wonderful that can make us realize the importance of our diplomatic works and encourages any ambassador to better perform their responsibilities. I'm so happy to hear that the ambassador's club was conducting a research on the activities of Embassy of Nepal. Ambassador Ejak uh, was he told me that I did spy on you. <laughs> friends, <laughs> I still remember. Friends spy on friends. <laughs> yes, yes. But it is in a positive way. Thank you very much for spying me, <laughs> for spying <laughs> the activities of Embassy of Nepal, that it came uh, to know what we are doing, what the activities Embassy of Nepal is doing. Thank you so much for uh, reco uh, recognizing us. And it is great recognition for not only for me, uh, my country, uh, for all Nepalese people, thank you so much. Uh, this uh, will, uh, truly speaking, this will play a pivotal role in advancing multifaceted relationship between Nepal and Israel. This is the honor for my extreme work, extreme efforts, along with my uh, sincere efforts of my colleague, of uh, my Nepal Embassy colleague. I would like to announce their name, my Deputy Chief of Mission, Mr. Ozun Ghimire and Atase, Mr. Pradeep Sagargiri, they are here with me. It's, they are also today with me and they are also helping you uh, to uh, organize this program also. They Thank are you. very, very excellent and very wonderful people in my embassy. So I would like to thank them also. And including, I would like to address here one name also, my former DCM, Asta Subba. She was also an amazing person and she helped me a lot also in my endeavors. At this crucial moment, I would like to thank uh, my colleagues uh, from Embassy, as I mentioned before, and people and the government of both Nepal and Israel, diplomatic corps, ambassadors based in Israel, and all my dear, dear friends for your honest support to me. Now I'm feeling that this award has added more responsibilities on my shoulders and uh, uh, I am sure that I will be paying my efforts and will be investing my positive energy 
to the highest possible extent in advancing the relations between Nepal and Israel. Wish you all uh, for your good health, happy life and peaceful life. Thank you very much, Todaraba. Hanukkah Samya, Hak Samya. Todaraba. So a second, I got the word that now we have looked on Facebook. Hundreds, hundreds of people are watching Facebook now live, and they heard that you are not only a professional diplomat, but they learned that you are also a professional singer, and they would love to hear your voice and your special songs. And please, if you know. Todaraba, um, uh, just a moment. I would like to hand over this letter of my foreign minister to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Singing is my actually hobby, not so much professional, but I left it already 17 years back. But because of beautiful people here in Israel, they love my voice and they want to listen to my voice. And when I uh, came here, I found one beautiful song of a uh, renowned singer of Gali Atari who sang 40 years before about Nepal. Uh, this uh, song uh, is very popular in Israel, still it's very popular. With uh, listening that song, so many Israeli people went to Nepal when I heard uh, it and uh, I am very, very much uh, curious to meet her. Then I met her once in her uh, concert, then uh, she told the, at that time that now Nepal is, she sang uh, that Nepal is far away from ne Israel. Now Nepal is not far away because Nepal is very close to us because ambassador of Nepal is here with us. <laughs> 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 and also once in one hour event in my residence, we sang together also. Uh, thank you very much, Gali uh, Atari, uh, Rafael Sapira, and Ariel who created this song and all lovely people uh, of Israel. Thank you so much. Bravo, and we would love, but we would I love think, to. I think you have to play uh, that music. Yes. <laughs> I would like to uh, get some help from you also. Please sing with me also. I'm trying. <laughs> Ada hino ya dua, si makhan pun sabua, 
Dear guests, Ambassador of the Year, distinguished guests, ambassadors, diplomats, ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes we will light together with the first candle of Hanukkah. It is a very great honor for me to light it here with you today. Lighting Hanukkah candles symbolize for us, the Jewish people, prosperity after difficult times. As you may know, we remark in the lighting of this candle the miracle of the oil jug. That small jug that's supposed to be enough to light the lamp called menorah in the temple in Jerusalem only for a few hours but was enough for eight full days. Lighting Hanukkah candles also symbolize for us the spark that exists in each of us. A spark that anyone can turn into great flame. 
a great light that could illuminate the world. These days, when the world is facing a global epidemic, we need every spark of every person in the world, in every country, without religious differences or political views of all women, men, children, young and old. I bless all of us that the light that lies within each of us will illuminate those around us and, and possibly influence us and the whole world. In a moment, I will pray to God and thank Him for the miracle He performed for, for the Jewish people in those days at this time. And I invite you all to join me. Happy Hanukkah. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר קידישנו במצוותיו וציוונו להדליק נר של חנוכה. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שעשה ניסים לאבותינו בימים ההם בזמן הזה. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה. Thank <laughs> you. 
מקסימום, אתה יכול גם כן, אבל... כי אתה לא עושים בכל ועוד אחד כאילו שאתה נותן לו את זה. On behalf of the government of Nepal, Nepali people and myself, I would like to express my sincere thanks to Ambassador Ijak Eldan, Board of Directors, all the members of the Ambassadors Club of Israel for rewarding me as Ambassador of the Year 2019 and 2020. I am very happy to hear that this award of excellence in diplomacy is the highest distinction discerned by the club to foreign diplomats. It makes me feel so gratified and profoundly honored for having this Nobel Award. I heard that it is not only honored for the first time to Nepal, but also for the first time to any Asian countries. I do understand the value of this recognition, which gives me more encouragement and motivation to enhance our relations in the days ahead. Now, I do believe that if we work hard, there will be someone to assess and respect our work. Ambassador Eldan, I especially would like to thank you for your kind support and your belief in my works and efforts in advancing the relations between our two nations. Actually, this is a real honor for me and my Nepali embassy colleagues' efforts. I always believe in teamwork, so I can proudly say that this is the result of our collective work. 
Again, I would also like to thank you and your team, the people and the government of Israel, diplomats and all my dear friends from the bottom of my heart for your honest support to us. This occasion will always remain in my heart and my mind throughout my life. In this happy moment, I would like to say that just fall in love with work without any expectation. Once again, I respect and love you all who have supported my hard work and endeavors for better international relations. Thank you very much. Todaraba, Dhanivad, Namaste.